futures traders can trade a specific interest rate contract and also trade the relative yield changes between the two interest rate futures contracts. For example, the trader might trade the yield differences between the 2- and 10-year Treasury notes. The influencing factor for a Treasury spread trade is the yield curve. The yield curve is the line which indicates the rate at which long-term investors want to be compensated in the form of higher yields for holding their investments for a longer period of time. There are times where long-term bondholders will demand significantly higher yields compared to short-term bondholders, and times when the same bondholders will demand only slightly higher yields compared to short-term bondholders. The steeper the curve, the more long-term bondholders demand in yield compensation for taking the additional risk of holding longer maturity bonds. This is what is commonly referred to as the steepness of the yield curve. The yield curve can move in two different ways. A parallel shift, where short-term and long-term rates all increase the same amount. The other way is to rotate. A rotation means that the change in rates of long-term and short-term bond is different, resulting in a steepening or flattening of the yield curve. Rotations are the shifts that spread traders are attempting to trade. Traders can calculate the ratio, or spread, between any two bond maturities on the curve. An interest rate spread trader will place a trade with the assumption that the yield differential will change. The interest rate spread trader is concerned with the change in the yield spread rather than the absolute change in each yield. Let's say the current yield spread is around 1.13%. A trader might think the yield curve will steepen more than is expected by the market. He could buy the spread between the 2-year and 10-year notes if the trader believes that long-term rates will increase and the yield spread will increase. Buying the spread means buying the 2-year notes and selling the 10-year notes. Because the direction of the market can move at the same time as the yield curve changes shape, the trader can lose on a spread trade because the impact of the market can be larger than the impact of the change in the spread. In order to remove most of the effects of market direction, the spread between the yields can be isolated. A trader can trade more of one contract and less of another. This is called the spread ratio and will remove the impact of changes in the market direction. The spread ratio equals the basis point value of the long bond divided by the basis point value of the short bond. For example, if the BPV of the 10-year note is 128.78 and the BPV of the 2-year is 46.25, spread ratio equals BPV 10-year divided by BPV 2-year equals 128.78 divided by 46.25 equaling 2.78 or roughly 3 2 1. This means that the trader would trade three 2-year notes for every 10-year note they trade. To make it easier for traders, these ratios are published on the CME Group website. Interest rate futures traders can trade changes in the steepness of the yield curve in addition to their other strategies, adding additional trading strategies to their interest rate futures portfolio.